Let's first begin by creating a file index.js inside of the folders source slash pages. This will be our index page and we'll first import React from React. We'll then import the GraphQL from Gatsby and that GraphQL tag we'll use in a query in just a second. But first let's export a default function and we'll just give this a name of index page. We'll not destructure anything from the props just yet, but what we will do is we will return a React fragment and simply we are just going to pretty print using JSON stringify uh, the merchant category and products. And a way in which we can get those is actually by running a query when this page is built. So if we next export a const called page query at the bottom of our index page, what we can do in here is we can run some queries. And one of the good ways we can define these queries and learn about what is available to us is we can open up the graphical interface and we can run the queries here. So as you can see here, we have the check merchant business name and it's simply given this a name for the query and then pasting in that query itself. And we'll make a query for the categories and the products and then we can render all of this data to the page. And you'll see here, we are querying for the nodes. And this is just how Gatsby works. Everything it creates is a node. So what we need to do when we're querying, if we want to get multiple nodes of that type, we need to define the nodes here and those will be returned to us in an array of nodes like we can see on the right hand side here. With the products, instead of slug, we'll get permalink and also we'll drill into another type price and we'll get the formatted with symbol value and it's simply copying this full query and pasting it into the page and that will run on build. Next, all that's left to do is destructure the check merchant from the props and this will be inside of the data object. When we destructure check merchant, we will rename it to merchant and the same for category and products because you see inside of the return function, we are just calling to stringify the merchant categories and products results. So if we run npm run dev, what we should see on the page at localhost 8000 is the merchant categories and products printed to us. The values may look different if you've used your own API key. 